Greg Delaunay again, president of Ducks and Bucks. And we're here today to really show you how to set this carp lined up in under 10 minutes from out of the box. So first thing I'm gonna do here is go through an inventory of items that you should have received with your carp line. First here is the front bar for manpower tow as well as your arm straps. This we're gonna to get to in one of the last steps. We've got two polypropylene wheels here. They're both rated for plus 50 or plus 150 degrees Fahrenheit and minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty versatile. We've got some steel axles here with some powder pins. We've got two short legs, two long legs with four inch pad feet on them. Great for marsh, great for standing up in any type of terrain. Get the Awesome footprint on the ground. Allows you not to sink in any type of muck or uh, mud situations. We've got a bottom skirt here. That's for ice fishing and deer hunting. And again, we've got your whole entire front side skirt. So what we're gonna do first here is uh, we're gonna put the wheels on this unit and start getting uh, transforming it into a carp line. First thing you're going to do is come around here to where the axle hole is and you're going to take an axle assembly that comes pre-assembled and that's going to go ahead and slide right in here and on the back side you've got a couple of line up holes. Now sometimes on certain units these don't line up and it's really good to have a device like this and or maybe a number one Phillips screwdriver just to kind of straighten out the hole. And then you can go ahead and slide that cotter pin on there and lock it in the back side. Again, you're just using your tool here to firm up the lineup. And then your pin slides right in. All set. The smaller leg is going to go on the back side of this unit. So you go ahead and slide in. Now I'm going to put it at an adjustment height on its first notch here. So your seat's at 16 inches, which is standard chair height. Go ahead and put both those in. Longer legs go up in the front of the unit, face side, where you'd be looking out. All right, now that we got this stage, uh, stage done here, I'm gonna go ahead and stand it up so it makes it a lot easier for you to uh, work on the rest of the unit. Once we've got it stood up here, I'm gonna go ahead and take all these mounting supports and hinge bars. I'm gonna put them face out. I'm gonna place these pins just here in the cup holder. Now the canvas that comes with this has three adjoining poles for it. And if you can grab the little ones, the little pole to start off with, that's gonna place right in the top and that'll help you line up the rest of everything as you go through. Same thing as with the axles now. You're gonna go ahead and line up all these pin holes in location. And you're gonna work your way down now, taking that next pull. That's then gonna place inside of each of these locations. Now this Ducks Bucks unit from the time you take it out of the box to the time you set, you set it up should take you less than 10 minutes. Um, pretty simple. Pick up this lower bar, sliding it into the other side and then maneuvering it into this here location. You're going to go ahead and place another pin. The last step now is to take your skirt is obviously hanging here. So we're gonna go ahead and, there's snap buttons around the whole edge of this. We're gonna just kind of pull this up here. And making sure we're lined up, we're gonna go ahead and place these snaps in position now. Now the last thing you might be asking yourself here is, what is this? 
Well, this is your card attachment. Um, I'm going to show you how to place that on here. You come around to the edge here, on the side of the bucket, there are two lock nuts, one on each side. Now this pole is going to go ahead and, after you have the lock nuts removed, slide right over these threaded uh, polycarbonate plates. And that's going to go ahead and lock this entire pole here into a, a pull position. Now the adjustability on here allows this is multi-purpose. You don't need a third stabilizing leg for this. Some people feel a little bit more comfortable with it, which will allow you to go ahead and loosen these. And one of the pieces we have here is that it can become a third leg to stabilize, depending on what type of terrain you're on. Now this alternate skirt you have right here would be very useful in deer hunting or in ice fishing. This goes ahead and snaps right here onto the bottom to keep your scent contained and also to keep the light out when you're ice fishing. So, uh, I'll catch you all later. Thank you very much.